I've got to admit guys, the plans for this video today was to do a dedicated flea market video, but unfortunately last Sunday, the flea market was pretty quiet. Would that be a women's large? Uh, it's woman large, yes. Woman's, yeah. Yes. Um, would you do 15? Sure. Yeah? All right. So that was it. I just picked up the North Face Flight Series jacket. I mean, a $15 grab, pretty cool, size large, women's. It should sell for about 95 on eBay. But I go to the flea market to try and find 20 to 30 items. So it was kind of disappointing to only come away with this, but it wasn't where the story ended. I was able to go and pick up some items off a guy that was at the flea market trying to sell. This is how it all came about. How much on your scarf? Scarf, are you a Sun supporter? I am. You are? Yeah. $3. What, would you do two for five? I'd do two for five. All right, mate. Uh, that's two done. What about are you a Queenslander? Um, yeah, I've, I am, but I'm an AFL man. You're AFL? No jerseys? No jerseys. Oh, that's a shame. So we actually continued to talk off camera, and it turns out that he's got a few jerseys, AFL jerseys, something that I'd really like to collect and sell. And he was moving to Melbourne, didn't need them anymore, and he was happy to give them to me for a really good price if I was able to pop down to his place and pick them up. So... Today, that's exactly what I did. Graham, how are you, mate? Good to see you. How's things? You're good. Very that's good. all right. You ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah. Just about. Yeah, nice. A couple of days and we'll be. Always we'll a big job, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. like I said, these, these are brand new. Yeah. Okay. They were when um, Aussie sponsored them. Oh, back in Aussie, yeah. Back in the end of that was. Yeah. And then the Hawks. That's a size small. Yeah. Like I said, they're all just small. I think I got them for cell phone. I was a little bit smaller. Yeah. Nice. This is the only one that's been used at the main. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I had two. One was a, I think one was a natural. I don't know, it might have been. This was a training jumper, so no, no insignia. No, yeah. I, I wore that one a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. So, yeah. Nice. And they're all, oh, that one's a medium. Yeah. Mm, yeah, nice. Mm. All right, and 30 bucks? Yep. Yeah, sweet, mate. All right. All right. We'll see all you good. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, I'm well, just a. Thanks very much. Thank you. Good one. Guys, this has turned into a pretty epic pickup. I've ended up getting these four jerseys for the $30, as you just heard. So we're talking about, you know, $8 per jersey, and these are actually vintage. I know that they're vintage based on sponsorship, and I get a lot of people asking about how to pick an authentic jersey, how to pick a vintage jersey. And really, when it comes to the footy, it is just more about the sponsorship branding. Like Maine, when you go and do a bit of a Google search for Maine Carlton, it's around the early 2000s era. If you have a look at Hawthorne, Hawthorne, this jersey here has got a, uh, a Samsung sponsorship there, so I know that's 2001 as well. I have a bit of education on all of this and, and the fact that I know that it's genuine because I actually went to Judder, Diver Flipper, Brad, really good fella. I've known him for a very, very long time and he's got an awesome YouTube channel that you should go and check out. I'll link it in the description below. But I asked Brad, I said, mate, what do you think? How much do you reckon I've got here worth of jerseys? And he said, look, list them all up as vintage. Um, majority of them are 2001 and uh, you should be able to get yourself about 100 bucks for the Hawthorne jersey, about 50 to $60 for the two Carlton jerseys and the Collingwood about 30. So when you add it all up, there's about $200 worth of resale value there, which I knew there would be knowing that they were vintage. Um, and I've only paid the 30 bucks. So the point that I really wanted to make in just highlighting this purchase and putting this into the video today is just because the flea market on face value seemed like it was a pretty slow that, uh, day, that just doesn't mean that that's going to be the case. You can always make things happen from it. And that was certainly what I did here with Graham. I just asked a few questions, got to know the vendor. And then from there, I was able to run around to his place and pick up some stuff that I actually genuinely want to purchase to sell. So a little bit of a lesson there for you. I'm back in my bag, yo. Conscious, I so dumb. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the hood like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head. Cause when she walked that thing, jiggle, jiggle. And we going back to back on them like we Huey and we Riley. This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly. This that back in my back flow. So this is, is there any memory cards? Yeah, if there's a memory card, that would probably help. 
Yeah, yeah. And they're all tested and works, does it? You know? Alright, so 60 on that, and I'll take it and run. Yeah, we keep on stacking, it was happening. Everything. Which is the best colour? Uh, this one? So this is the better one. Uh, so we're gonna do 70 on that. 30 on that, so 100. I'll do 20 on that. 20 on that, so 90. And then 60 on this. So 150. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Sweet. A huge thank you to Reese. I went into his pawn shop for the purpose of trying to find a PlayStation 2 console. I bought off a viewer of the channel by the name of Gary a whole stack of video games and DVDs. And out of those video games, there was about 15 games that weren't worth too much money. I didn't want to list them individually. So by buying the console off Reese for $60, he gave it to me for a bit of a discount. I'm then able to combine them with those games and I should be able to sell the entire package for about $150 and at least recoup all the money back and then maybe a couple of dollars worth of profit. It's always the best way to go about it if you ever find yourself with a stack of low-cost video games. This though, I had to go ahead and purchase. I just thought this was one of the most nostalgic things I've ever seen. Um, this is the original Nintendo Game Boy, a 1989 DMG01, uh, one of the first that was ever made and uh, to see it and to get it for 70 bucks, there's comps on eBay for around about $150. So. Really kind of Reese. he's got a $95 price tag on this and he's given it to me for just the 70 bucks. So I should be able to make at least $45 after fees and postage with this one here. Um, so a couple of cool little grabs there and a huge thank you to Reese. Definitely if you're ever on the Gold Coast, go and check out his pawn shop. He's got so much cool stuff to pick from. Dove into the thrift, guys, and I was pretty happy to find this one. It was a Rugby Sevens jersey, but a referee jersey, size large. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up. I'm going to put a pretty high price on it as well. I'm thinking about 70 bucks. Excuse the painted hands, but uh, I've got a Barney Cool uh, pair of shorts here. Really good price point. And these as well, Nana Judy. Look, I'm not stoked about this, but they are brand new with tags, and the tags do say $65. So surely for six to eight bucks a piece, you've got to be picking those ones up. Happy to grab all of those. We've got four pairs of shorts. That'll go down well. This Washington Nike hat, I love the look of it. Would have done really well for me, but are you kidding me, guys? We've got a $10 price point on a hat. I'm not having that. That's going to go back onto that headless mannequin. Uh, we've got this one, though, that I will pick up. This one was just the five bucks. It was a Gold Coast Titans New Era hat. So always pick those up when you see them. They should do well. Haven't had too much luck in the shoes lately, guys. These ones are a pair of netball shoes. And um, look, a pretty cheap $8 price point. But unfortunately, just a little bit too much wear on the soles for me on this occasion. So just a couple of items in that run. Well, guys, I got pretty excited when I saw the DVD bin for just a dollar in this local Vinnie's. I went through every single one of these DVDs, scanning them up, trying to find something that was $10 plus on eBay. And unfortunately, I think the op shop guys knew what they had their hands on here. All of them were very, very cheap on eBay, so I had to let them go. Street Machine, these were some pretty good bundles, three for $5, a very fair price point, but just not a lot of comps on eBay for these. So therefore, I have left them back on the shelf. I picked this up, though. I paid $12 for this. I like the fact that it's brand new with tag or at least brand new in box. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, we've got Nova, should turn into about 40 bucks. And then we've got one video game here, Enter the Matrix. It was a $5 purchase, should turn into 20. So not a massive uh, thrift run there, guys. Uh, a little bit disappointing. The price points are still high. I'm not going to complain about that. It is what it is. But while all of this has been going on, I have been over at my new place doing a bit of renovations. If you're here for the first time watching this video, a couple of weeks ago, I bought my first ever place and um, I'm moving in tonight. Tonight is going to be my very first night. Painting is now complete and the walls look brilliant. I'm going to run in there now. I'm going to show you the new place um, with all the renovations now done. And in Sunday's video, I'm actually going to be moving eBay into the garage and setting up my eBay business at my new place, which I'm super excited about. And I can't wait to bring you that dedicated video on that to go and give you guys a bit of a look at how I'm going to set things up to optimize uh, my workflow. But um, I'll take you in there now. I'll quickly show you all the painting that's being done and I guess just how good it looks now from what it used to. So guys, welcome to the new office. The walls have just been painted white and they are looking an absolute treat. That right hand side, we'll see a big shelf put in place and there'll be a lot of housing of storage. My desk will go on this right hand side and that's be uh, pretty much where I'm going to be listing all of my items. So looking forward to getting in there. The living room has really brightened up. 
Again, the white walls going in uh, over the yellow was a massive difference there. Putting the TV on the left-hand side really has opened up the room. As you can see there, it was quite closed in with the previous photos. Um, and then it, it opens it up in, uh, into the kitchen as well. So some awesome changes there, but there are a few little finishing touches that do need to take place. I need to get some artwork. I need to get a really nice lamp uh, to go next to the couch and it's a couple of little bits and pieces, but all in all, I'm ready to move in. So I'm really happy with the way things are coming along. And like I said, I'm in there tonight. But what's super sad is that this room, this room that I've been in, this spare bedroom at my parents' place for the last two years, this is the last time it's gonna look like this because on Sunday, I'm taking it all across to the, the new place. And it's really gone to the end of a chapter, I guess. If, you, if you've been watching for the last two years, you're gonna be able to continue to watch and say, I remember the days when you were back at your parents' place. It's that sort of a moment. Um, so it is a little bit sad to be leaving because this place has been amazing to be able to store all of my stuff with plenty of space and offer a really awesome spare bedroom to be able to work out of as well. But it is time, two years in the game full time. I do need to get out and fend for myself and that's exactly what this place is for. So hopefully you can catch me for that part of the journey, which is gonna be a fun one to be a part of because there's a lot of cool things to come on this channel. 53% of you guys watch this and don't subscribe. So if you can hit that subscribe button, do yourself a favor, do me a favor and hit that button, that'd be great. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. Look forward to catching you for the move on Sunday. We'll see you soon.